California, Steve You know, when it comes to growing the game of golf, uh, it's one of those things that I think the more passionate you are about something and the more uh, people can see that, the more they get interested in it. You know, I would say favorite golfers of all time would be my grandpa, number one. He got me into the game. Uh, he took time out of his busy schedule to, uh, same thing, he introduced me to game. Uh, and he was very adamant about making it fun at first. And really early on, I had a, uh, a mentor uh, by the name of Greg Tennant, uh, who's in the PGA. Uh, he took me out to see the tournament at Riviera. And one of the first things I saw was Fred Couples and uh, Davis Love uh, teeing off 10 and walking down the fairway. And it just told Greg right then and there, I'm like, man, I really want to do that. Uh, I know I'm shooting 100 right now, but I'm going to I'm gonna try my best to be like one of those guys. And then went to UC Irvine and played for them for uh, four or five years. I really enjoyed that. And I wanted to keep on playing. So I, I played a professional career for maybe, you know, maybe 15, 20 years, something like that. Probably about 17, 18 years ago, somewhere in there, uh, my hip really started bothering me. So I pursued uh, coaching and I've been doing that for about the last 15, 16 years. When it comes to my coaching philosophy, I, I really am very simple with it. I just try and improve players and also to help them enjoy and to really love the game like I do. So I just wanted to be really good at what I was doing and I wanted to help golfers to achieve whatever their goals were. I think if you do that, if you really pursue what you're after and you really enjoy it and you put the effort and time into it, uh, whether it be money or accolades or top 50, whatever it is, I think those things come with it. My wife Alicia is very, uh, she's a very giving person and really I think the way she sees it is that her role is to facilitate and help all of the players, whether it be me or the, the, the gals that play for UCLA. This is Steve Holmes on 10. From 50 last year, uh, so I made an effort to start trying to get in a little better shape and to uh, start playing and practicing a little bit more. I use the ArcoSAP to just get a baseline of you know where am I at? basically where am I losing strokes and how can I streamline my practice. And then this year I was able to uh, qualify for the PGA Championship, which was uh, really a dream come true. I always say tournaments and uh, results they're they're really. They don't happen during the tournament. They, they happen months before that. I'd say where the Arcos helped me the most was continually uh, scheduling my practice around how I was performing. And as I got closer and closer to the PGA Championship, uh, I used the app to just give me a, a basic outline of the golf course and what clubs I might be expecting off the tee. I always encourage my students to use it. Uh, especially with juniors. So when they come to a lesson, usually I just take their phone from them and I'll turn on the first page. And that, that's my far favorite part because uh, it'll tell you green, you're doing well, uh, red, you're not doing so well. And I just look at the red section and say, we need to practice that. So I think technology really helps with the streamlining of practice and uh, taking kind of the emotion out of it. And really at the end of the day, we all just want to play better golf. So. Uh, why not use technology to help with that? Making it into the PGA this year, number one is one of my life goals. I've got a big list of goals, and this is one of the, the goals on my ladder. I'd really try, like, love to try and get a kid on the LPGA or the PGA Tour and, and see, uh, have them have some success out there. Also, I'd love to see, in general, just people love the game and make it a lifetime game for them. You know, whether it's on the PGA Tour or whether it's just playing the club championship or whether it's just introducing uh, you know, your, your grandson or daughter to golf. You know, that, that's really, those are my goals. And you know, as far as my legacy and uh, how I want to be, let's say, remembered in golf, I gave every ounce of my effort for golf. Uh, pretty much for the last 35 years, that's, that's all I've done is uh, uh, breathe and eat and eat golf. But also somebody that gave uh, a lot of effort and uh, really helped some other players achieve new goals. 
I guess that's probably how I'd want to be remembered the most. There's an old saying that you have to stand on the shoulders of giants to see new heights. And uh, I'm, I'm standing on the shoulders of uh, some incredible instructors and players uh, that have helped me over the years. And now I hopefully some people can stand on my shoulders to see the heights that they're after.